content standards begin with that most fundamental of skills, reading. The anchor standards here emphasize reading closely, making logical inferences, citing specific textual evidence, and reading complex texts, a key concept experts say we have not been getting right in the classroom. What's been happening is that the reading that we've been asking students to do all the way along and in high school has begun to go down. But the reading in, that we ask for students to do um, in college and then if they get into their careers has actually stayed steady or gone up. And the difference is wide. Another big shift in the reading standards, more nonfiction. Experts say that while literature like fiction and poetry is important, kids must also be reading informational texts. When you look at what students actually read and what we read as adults and when we graduate um, and are on careers and, and jobs and just in life, is about 80% of what we read is informational text. Students need to be able to read tactical writing as well as historical and scientific writing as well as literature and literary writing. It's for this reason that there are two sets of reading standards across all grades, reading literature and reading informational text. Things like essays, news articles, and historical documents. By fourth grade, at least half of students' reading should be informational, and by high school, at least 70%. And the responsibility for teaching all this doesn't fall just on English teachers. The standards call for literacy and writing to be taught across all disciplines, history, social studies, science, and technical subjects. There is no way we will break the barrier of eighth grade reading scores in this country being flat for decades unless science and history teachers are full partners in demanding that students read and write to gain knowledge in their discipline.